For some Arduino projects, a low power consumption is important. Today I will show you one easy method and one not so easy method to reduce the power consumption of your next project. Now this might be especially interesting if you have a project that is battery powered. Let's start with a simple example. I will use pin 13 as output and I will just blink the LED. So we wait for seconds. I turn on the LED. I wait for more seconds. I turn off the LED. So this is what it looks like. Let's take a look at the power consumption. I will use my power supply here. If the LED is turned off, we consume 41 milliamps. And if the LED is turned on, we consume 43 milliamps. Now it makes sense that we consume power if the LED is on, but why are we consuming power if the LED is off? The Arduino shouldn't basically do anything. Now the reason is that delay wasn't designed with low power consumption in mind. Arduino will just basically sit there and wait for you, fully active. The AT Mega chip that we have on the Arduino Uno R3 has sleep modes. So we can make use of these sleep modes if there is nothing else to do then we can just put it into the sleep mode. There are different ways to get there and the simplest way is using libraries. So let's take a look at low power libraries. And in my case, I'm interested in AVR because this is an AVR chip. So let's try that one. I'm interested in periodic. In this example here, we power down our Arduino for eight seconds and we turn off the ADC inside of the Arduino because that one is constantly running. And we also turn off the brownout detection, which also consumes some energy. Now this also allows, for example, four seconds delay. So let's do four seconds. Let's do pin mode 13, output. We sleep four seconds, we turn it on, and then we sleep four seconds again, and then we turn it off. Now, don't use this if you're expecting UART your communication in the background or something like that, or I squared C, it won't work. Let's take a look. It looks exactly the same. But now we're using power down instead of delay. And I'm sure there are other libraries. So feel free to use other libraries. I just picked the first one that I found. Let's take a look at the current. So if the LED is turned off, we are consuming 28 milliamps. And with the LED on, we consume 30 milliamps. Why is the power consumption still so high and what else could we do to reduce it? The problem is that we have multiple components on this PCB that we are also powering. So for example, we have this USB chip here. If we don't need USB, we could try to permanently reset this chip. So if we connect these two pins here, we put it into permanent reset. And now we jump between 15 milliamps and 17 milliamps. But of course the USB won't work now. The chip is in reset. But the consumption is still too high. <laughs> we can do more than that. And that is the hard part. So if you want to reduce it even further, the only way I see is to remove the chip from the Arduino board and we can have a minimum circuit that is required to make it work. So what is this minimum circuit? We need a crystal with 16 megahertz with two capacitors, usually 22 picofarads to ground. We need a pull up from the reset pin to five volts. And we need a supply voltage with a decoupling capacitor. Usually 100 nanofarads are fine. I also have a bunch of other stuff that I'm not going to use, but it's not active and so it's not consuming any power. I don't have an LED on board, but we will see if we still consume 15 milliamps or less. This board is now consuming one milliamp. 
but this is the resolution of my measurement so who knows it's definitely way less i hear you say how do we know that it actually works it looks pretty dead right <laughs> so let's connect an led pin 13 is actually right here not sure if that works and ground is right yeah, right here this is ground the current stays very low because i use a very high resistance so now we get more light so with the brighter led you see the current consumption goes up but the microcontroller itself doesn't use much anymore there is also one more thing that is interesting and that is the external interrupt so it's also possible to put it to sleep and wait for an external interrupt as you can see you sleep forever you attach an external interrupt and then you just sleep forever if the interrupt is triggered you jump into the wake up function all right how do you save power are you using power saving techniques already if this video was helpful please like and subscribe to this channel also sharing is appreciated thank you for watching see you in the next video